It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Black Sheep Brewery and it's a can of their Pathmaker Pale Ale coming in at 5.6% ABV. 330 milliliter can. There's a look at it. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. Oh, a firm can opening that was. It didn't want to go. Got it. Right. I'm not sure, I'm thinking to myself, as I was pouring the beer then, have I had a canned craft beer from Black Sheep before? I, mean, I don't think, off the top of my head, I don't think I have. The Imperial Stout, the some of the fun beers they do, the oh, Monty Python beers, and the rest of their beers that I've reviewed on the channel, the Rig Welter, uh, the Black Sheep Ale, they're all done in bottle, I've did all reviewed in bottle. I'm not sure if they will eventually, this is probably their toe in the water for canned beer. This being an American style pale ale, it's probably a good thing that it's in a can. Um, a lot of the really good American pale ales, British pale ales as well, of course, are in, are in cans these days. We've got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation, amber in color, Let's get the, oh it's clear to look at, let's get the aroma. It's a nice aroma, it's a juicy aroma. And I like the fact that they've used real kind of light straw coloured, pale coloured malts. Um, it's got a, 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 a tutti fruity like almost like a mixed fruit jam aroma in there. It smells good. It really does smell good. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. A nice kind of Bit of a rasping bitterness right on the back of the palate there, quite a deep, right down in the back of the palate is this kind of rasping bitterness. Really juicy, tropical, punch bowl fruits mixed with, yeah, mixed fruit jam. A real tartness to it. Sweetness at the beginning, nice malts, nice malty sweetness. And they, there might be some rye. They might have used, ah, no, they, I'm not sure. Not with the colour of the beer, maybe not. But there's definitely a, a nice malty, biscuity taste in there. to offset that orange peel, grapefruit peel juiciness in there to begin with. It, it, it's some fleshy blood orange as well. Nice kind of sweetness, bitterness, lots of flavors in the middle. This is a really, really good attempt by Black Sheep Brewery with this American style pale ale. I'm calling it an American style pale ale. I've not really, I, I'm not really looked. Uh, we'll get into that in a moment. Nice amount of carbonation, pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's a nice brew, it's definitely a nice brew, definitely, definitely. Uh, Warden of the North, guardian of, guardian of hop and barley and seeker of new adventure. He, with knowing glint in his eye, sizing up the future, was full to the brim with early daring, and so took the path not yet travelled. Citra, Simcoe and Chinook hops provide the route for a bold, multi mouthfeel and a Moorish, crisp, bitter finish. A nod to our founder 
and black sheep Paul Theakston. Some of you guys, you might remember Theak, well, you should remember Theakston's brewery. Uh, Theakston's Old Peculiar. Beautiful beer. Be I'm sure they won't mind me saying this because I, I believe they're friends now. Um, let me see if I can get this story right. I believe Theakston's were taken over by Scottish and Newcastle, the then Scottish and Newcastle, um, which are now Heineken. Yeah, Heineken. Um, back 80s, 90s. Um, didn't quite work out. Theakston, the family of Theakston's bought it back from Scottish and Newcastle, made it an independent brewery again. But in the meantime, while all that was going on, um, the black sheep here, you all know the story of the black sheep, yeah? They go, goes off in their own direction. They just do their own thing. Um, they're black, they're not white, for a start. Um, he went off and started his own brewery. He's like, I'm not hanging around and waiting, I'm gonna go do, do my own thing. Um, I think that was the story, anyway. That, that, that's a very vague, that's a very brief um, thing, if you like. The, probably the best thing to do is, is stick it into Google uh, and put in Black Sheep Brewery, Theakston's Brewery. I'm sure you'll find a story out there uh, with what happened. You might even find it on their website. Uh, but I believe they're all friends again now. Everything's going great. Um, I think they probably work closely together. Uh, and that's the story with, with, with Black Sheep Brewery and Theakston's. They're, they're a family of brewers. Let's rate this beer then. And one thing before I rate it. Black Sheep were kind enough to send me a parcel. The parcel was severely damaged in the post. And all of the the cans were dented, the, the bottles were, some were smashed and the smashed bottle went, the, went all over the labels and it was a right mess. So I had to bin the lot. It was really messy and smelly, I just binned the lot. So I felt a little bit guilty of course and I went out and I picked this up. Um, this is available in Morrison's supermarkets. I found this in my Morrison's supermarket. So pick it up in Morrison's if you like. Uh, rating, I like it enough to give it yeah, it's a solid 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.